I was reading something actually yesterday, and, and there was one little verse in there that really, really got home to me. And, and so I'm going to read just a little bit, something that was on my mind, and, but it's in 1 Timothy chapter 4. Yeah. This is Paul writing to Timothy. Yeah. Timothy was a young pastor. And this is Paul writing to Timothy, giving him some encouragement, giving him some, some teaching because Paul's been around the block a little bit here. He's probably in prison here when he wrote this. So, But he says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to, to seducing spirits and doctrines of the devil. That was he was saying right then. People are going to be deceived. They're going to they're gonna have some, somebody coming by that sounds real good, that has a nice little delivery or, or, or has a nice things to say and, and will, will, will do things that will draw many people to them and have great charisma. And they're going to say this and they're going to say that and people are going to fall short. You see? And that's, and that's what he's telling Timothy back then. You know, what he's saying is don't, don't, don't give them hope in you or in this or in that. Preach the word to them. Don't, don't be deceiving them because people will come. They'll see your gifts. They'll see what's going on and they'll try to deceive. And so that's what he's telling him here. And he goes on to say that there were speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, mm -hmm. forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats, which God hath created to receive with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good, and nothing to be refused uh, if it be received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God in prayer. Now I'm going to stop there for just a second. I haven't got to where I want to get yet, but maybe I'll get there, maybe I won't. Maybe you'll have to listen to me next week on it, but... But you see right here, we see a lot of this going on today. And you may say, well, now, I don't fully understand what you mean. Uh, but you see, what he is saying here is, is you see people today that will refrain from doing certain things. They will refrain maybe from, from uh, uh, the big one around here is cutting their hair. Or they will refrain from wearing a certain type of clothing. Or they will refrain uh, from doing this or doing that. Uh, because of what they've been taught in self-righteousness. That's all it is. I'm not saying if you don't want to do it uh, and give glory to the Lord for it, that's fine. Uh, but you see, we have people that believe that that is important to salvation. And that is not, that is exactly what Paul is saying against. Yeah. He is saying against all these things. And back then, the big thing uh, was eating uh, uh, certain meats. Uh, you see about it in Corinthians uh, where uh, uh, they was talking about uh, uh, eating meats uh, uh, given unto idols. And he was telling them uh, that it's okay to eat it. Don't worry about it. Unless, of course, there be a young Christian there, a young brother that it may offend. Then for his sake, don't do it. Uh, you see, we've got a responsibility to each other. Uh, but you see, there's nothing out there that, that God, uh, He has done all things. And He said all things are good. Uh, I remember uh, reading uh, uh, Brother Willie about uh, uh, Peter whenever uh, he was at uh, Cornelius' house uh, and he went up uh, on the rooftop. Uh, and as I was reminded, he was in a trance, wasn't he? He went into a trance. Uh, you see, and while he was up there uh, in this trance, he saw a vision. And this vision uh, was uh, about these beasts and, and, and the words that was to him was rise, uh, kill, and eat. Uh, friends, I want you to know he see he was doing exactly what Paul was saying against. He said, oh no, Lord. <coughs> Nothing common or unclean have I eaten. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't do that. Yeah. But what was God's words back to him? You see, what God yeah. has done called not common. It's not unclean. It's for you. If we receive it in thanksgiving. If you're thankful for it. If you understand that what it was put here for. It was put here for you and I. And I know we have certain religions that have very strict diets. And they have very strict uh, this and that. And that's exactly what was going on here. 
They were very strict in this or that, but they left Christ out of it. Friends, I, I, I never preach against I believe we should walk as close to God as we possibly can. I believe that the path is narrow and I believe we need to stay right in the middle of the narrow road, okay? I don't believe that we need to be out here doing this and that and, and all these. Uh, just because you have freedom in Christ don't mean you should be doing anything. You need to be setting a good life. It's like I said about uh, uh, the meat offered unto idols. Uh, uh, you see, Paul told them there uh, that if uh, uh, it's going to offend one, don't do it. And I remember a time that that's what the church did. If it was going to cause a problem with the church, we'd just leave it alone and go on. But we have quickly moved into a time now to where we say, uh, Brother Willie, I don't care if it offends you or not. I'm going to do it. you got to get over it. And why? Because people have, have been teaching that. Have been telling people, it's okay. It's not your problem, it's theirs. 